but I do want to cover uh, page seven. If you look on page seven of our booklet, you'll see photographs of the Charles Zephaniah Tawny Farm. I say that very adamantly because, oh, I always hear people say, oh, where's that uh, Zachariah Tawny Farm? I'm one of them. Yeah. It's Zephaniah. Yeah, that's a good name. Charles Zephaniah Tawney was a member of Company K, 1st Pennsylvania Reserves. And in 1862, at the Battle of Charles City Crossroads, he got knocked down in the battle, and a limber chest rolled over his back. So, and he was discharged, and he came back, and he lived here at the time of the battle in a stone house across Rock Creek. Rock Creek is just on the other side of the tree line there. The, pi the, pi the picture in the middle of page 7 was recorded from a location near where we are standing. Because of all the trees, I've never been able to establish the exact location. But it's recorded from somewhere in this vicinity, and uh, it is looking towards the Tawny Farm. And we have a detail of the photograph blown up. This photograph is from 1886. It is in an album uh, put together by Massachusetts veterans that is at the United States Army Military History Institute. And look at the vast openness of the ground. Tyson 527 on the top of the page is another view of the Tawny Farm. And it's actually recorded from a position down um, near where a road used to cross over uh, Rock Creek, sort of in the, down near the corner of this field, and it's looking across the creek and up the meadow to the Tawny Farm. And on the bottom of the page, there is a close-up, um, a copy of a photograph of the farm that is from um, one of the early battlefield tour books that I have in my possession. So it's a, you know, it's a farm that is rarely visited. Um, in the 1980s, 28 acres of land on the other side of the creek was purchased by the Gettysburg Battlefield Preservation Association. And this property was not in the park boundary, and the GBPA tried to give it to the park. And there was sort of a, a battle, because you can't give the National Park Service property that is not in their boundary. And this, this thing caused what we call the boundary study, where they resurveyed the boundary of the Gettysburg National Military Park to include this 20-acre 20 20 parcel of land. And now that is owned by the National Park Service on the other side of the creek. Now, that include the house? yes, the house site is included within the boundaries of the Gettysburg National Military Park. Unfortunately, the boundary study led to the railroad cut fiasco. So 